If it was not already clear, I really enjoy Grim Dawn, more so than I thought I would years ago when I first played it. It has become one of my favourite ARPGs ever and I would like to play it for years to come yet. That said, with all my praise for the game, these are the 5 things I dislike about Grim Dawn. Number 1. When you add potions to the hotbar, they only remain on the hotbar until you've run out, to which then they disappear from the hotbar. When you acquire more, you then need to re-add them to the hotbar again. I don't understand why they can't just remain on the hotbar with just zero amount shown. It really confuses me. Number 2. Boss health bars are only ever displayed when you mouse over them. I can understand this for the majority of enemies in the game as you're mostly in open areas and you can move away etc. But when I'm confined to an area to just fight a boss, why can't the main boss health be constantly displayed on screen? If I'm doing damage over time and kiting the enemy around, this would be extremely useful to see what damage I'm actually doing. Number 3. Character pathing on bridges, small complex areas and around some obstacles such as walls really needs to be addressed. Sometimes the game is just fine and I do not get any issues, but more often than not my character will glitch out when navigating. For example, the house in Malmouth. I will click on a bridge and the game thinks I've clicked on the ground under that bridge. What makes it a tad worse is that I click and drag rather than clicking for each movement. By my own admission I do not help the issue, but even without my dragging it's still really apparent. Number 4. Skill over capping and knowing when it has happened is really not obvious. To explain what I mean, if I take Primal Strike it has 16 points you can put in yourself to reach the soft cap, and as you likely know you can raise this high using gear to reach a hard cap which is 10 points above this meaning 26 is where you peak. My issue is though is that you can actually breach this hard cap and you'll be getting nothing for doing so and you won't even know you've done it. The only way you'll work this out without using Grim Tools to help you is by manually counting up all the additional skill points you get from your gear and then remembering how many points you put into the skill itself and adding together. As I write this, my warder has breached the hard cap on 3 skills and I'm technically wasting 7 skill points by doing this. I wish there was a way the game would indicate this to you so you knew to address it. Finally number 5. Multiplayer needs to be more stable. It's a right giggle to laugh at the crashes that happen with multiplayer and the bugs that come with these crashes such as naked characters, maps being messed up and not being able to see loose on the ground etc. But if you're genuinely wanting to play with your friends and progress it can get a tad tedious. From my own experience it seems that the more people you play with the less stable it becomes, but even with just two players I've had many crashes for no apparent reason. So those are my 5 things I dislike about Grim Dawn. Thankfully none of them are major enough, well maybe number 4, to ruin the game's overall enjoyment, but if they were to be addressed I would not complain. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me or maybe you've got more to add to yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks and stay safe.